I could literally watch this brother all day long, man. <laughs> welcome, welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see by the title, we are back for the brother Graham Norton, all right? This is the Try Not to Laugh Part 4, and I'm going to say it every time. If you choose to, go right ahead. But me, I am going to laugh. Laughter is one of, or if not the best medicines. All right. So again, appreciate y'all coming over. Shout out to all the good humans out there. Link is always in the description for those who are asking. So we ain't gonna waste no more time. Let's jump right into it. Was it a honeymoon couple on a, on a plane? They were, uh, yeah, there's a couple on a, right. they were on a honeymoon and the plane hadn't yet taken off. And the, um, <clears throat> the, the woman who just, had just gotten married uh, just became violently and horribly ill on the plane. I mean, it was not like a pretty little like sick bag kind of thing. It was just like, I'm going to paint with my organs. Like it was just crazy. And people were freaking out all over the plane. And, the, and the, they're, they're, so they brought a stretcher down and they put her on the stretcher and they're wheeling her away. And like the, the, uh, her, her new husband is just kind of cruising along with the thing. And he sees me and he's like, Deadpool! <laughs> no way! High five! And I'm, and I'm like, I'm like, I don't, what do you, like, what has she got? Like, what's happening? Like, you know, like, you know, like, he's like, let's touch eyeballs. Like, no, no. Like, and by the way, your wife is like half dead. Help her. Help her, man. So it was just a very surreal moment. I'm, I'm sure they're fine. I'm sure they're on their second uh, anniversary now. Yeah, yeah. Just kicking yeah. it somewhere. That's such an embarrassing thing happened to me yesterday. That's so crazy, too, because, like, as, as a celebrity, you know, you're being recognized by someone who just loved your movies, loved your work. And, you know, I, I'm, just, I'm just thinking of how many people would have a reaction like that, even with their person, like, the person they're with dying, you know? Like, oh, you know what I mean? Hey. So it was just a very surreal moment. I'm, I'm sure they're fine. I'm sure they're on their second uh, anniversary now. Yeah, just yeah. Just kicking yeah. it somewhere. That's such an embarrassing <laughs> thing happened to me yesterday yeah, on the tube. Who is that? So I was it? I've obviously got, like, Oh, anyway, right, basically, what happened was... <laughs> so I stood on Oxford Tube platform... Yeah. ..and I've always got, um... So, you know, like, a glass keep cup, you know, like, it, rather than going to a coffee shop and getting a new cup, I, I carry a glass one that yeah. I then wash mm -hmm. and the, re-get my latte. Yeah. And um, so I got, I got my empty cup and I was just stood at down and stuff and uh, mm. an elderly gentleman was walking towards me on the platform and I was just like, oh, God, I'm, I just, I just want to get on the tube. I hate getting recognised. <laughs> and um, he started to walk towards me, but then he had his arm out and his arm came into my space. And on the tube, on the platform, it's crowded and it's a bit... I don't know, I just got the kind of like, oh, what are you doing? A bit aggressive, <laughs> unnecessarily. And actually, what he was doing was he went, oh, sorry, I thought you wanted money. And he was trying to... <laughs> Like, I sat there and I was like, someone make eye contact so I can tell this story. I was like, wait, I'm just and I was like, mm, I've got a really good story. Because, uh, Dwayne, presumably, uh, you can't hide. You can't put a hat on. <laughs> you can't put a hat on, man. No. I mean, but yet, you, I, I mean, I've seen you in a gym, like a public yeah. gym. So, do you just get bothered all the time? All the time. Yeah. Ah. But yeah. how do you so work out? So anonymity has gone out the window. But how do you work out in the gym if people are constantly giving right, up to you? Right, right. Uh, just be nice, say hello, get them moving. And... Get them moving. Lift yeah. them. That's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> but fame is a funny thing, right? So yeah. you, that story for you, will, that will be like the constant anchoring reminder, right? Of like how cool fame is, but also never like... I don't have the stress you have, though, because right. I think the thing is, if you, if you are five foot six and you've got a hat on and... You're dressed like a, a, a most of the time a teenage boy in a baseball cap. <laughs> <laughs> He's headphones on, head down. I catch the bus and the I catch yeah. the bus and the subway every single day because I'm not in anyone's eye line like that. But I imagine you, you there is something about if if you're you you can't 
You're, <laughs> you're seven feet tall. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah. But Kevin's, well, had, Kevin's had weird... You've had weird fan I've characters. Done. Well, what Tell happens us. if you're three foot two? Like, Wait. how does that... <laughs> <laughs> how, 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 how do you... How do you... Do, <laughs> Talking about. So rude. No, how do you deal with that? Five when two. You're that, you know that. Like, hey, let me, let me up with everybody. Five two. I'm sorry. Right. I'm sorry. I don't two. think. Well, first, there's two. We're 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 skipping around some points here. First thing, <laughs> she's saying she's dressed like a teenage boy. That for somebody to put money in your cup, it's got to be a lot worse than that. <laughs> Be honest, okay? Put it in the lid was on. There's something, <laughs> something within the appearance said, I need to help this person. <laughs> Make sure they eat today. Something happened. Uh, for me, I mean, it's it's bad. Um, and because I'm a big deal. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's just, it's... Did it's, you get the guy followed? Was it in a restaurant where he followed you? Oh, my God. I had a, I had a guy actually follow me into... Uh, uh, the bathroom. This is oh, a true story. Uh, uh, I'm in the stall. You know, I, I gotta go. And, you know, the guy, while I'm in the bathroom, he's like, Kev, can I get a picture? And I'm like, you know, because I'm obviously a I very think I big heard guy. This. I, I stand up for myself immediately. I say, hey, not in here. You wait until I'm done, okay? So you go outside. I take it with you when I get outside. Um, and I go in the stall and close the door. And, you know, you would expect whoever that was to have left. They're, they're gone. And I, you know, I do what I gotta do. And it was a, it was one of those situations where I had to be in there for a while. And I'm, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm in there. Uh, and, you know, literally, you know, when you, when you get comfortable, you start to take your time. And I'm on my phone, I'm scrolling, I'm, you know, it's just, it's a, it's a, it's a comfortable environment It's what you do at me. the mall. It's a, it's, <laughs> I get done, and I, like, Get out the stall and close the door. No. He's right there. He's like, hey, 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 man, you were in there for a while. <laughs> He's like, can we get the picture? And I was like, I'm in outside the bathroom, man. Get out the bathroom. I'm not taking a picture with you in the bathroom. But the fact that he stood there, like, very nicely, the whole time, <laughs> it made me feel obligated. And I was like, hey, just, just come on, selfie, real quick. Like, Don't tell nobody you saw me in here. He's been friends with Jason Statham ever since. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm distracted by the makings of a cocktail. Oh, yeah. It's a cocktail at Christmas, everyone. Yeah! yeah. Uh -oh. Shall I? Yes, endeavor? please. Now, what have you brought us? Okay, well, I like to give Britain a little tip every now and again, so you need to find yourself a sheath, right? Now, this Whoa. is a... <laughs> Hold on, hold no, no, no. on. This... I don't know if I want that drink. Okay. <laughs> okay. If you go to the really posh cocktail bars, you oh. get these incredible ice cubes that they hand carve. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. We go get a water bomb, right? And we just split it and we peel it off and we get a lovely round. Look, bear with me, bear with me. This is what they do in the posh places. Then we're going to make a Damn. Christmas Negroni. I love Woo! this. It's, it's, I think of myself as a Christmas Negroni. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you could have said that. I couldn't go away with that one. Um, so, Negroni, I want you to think of it as medicine, right? Okay. If you've got every one of us has someone a bit boring, a bit sort of dodgy come into the Christmas party, there's always one. Mm -hmm. So then what you do is you take this Negroni, a.k.a. medicine. Medicine. Right? And it turns people that are a bit problematic and boring mm -hmm. into interesting people. What's Whoa! Gonna happen? So a yes. Negroni is what's, 20... What's Jamie trying to I say? I know. <laughs> and he's pouring three drinks. <laughs> this, this is uh, 20 mils of Campari, mm. uh, 20 mils of... Uh, vermouth Rosso, which Ooh. we've scented uh, with a little cinnamon and Christmas fare. Yes. Um, and then uh, we have um, a little gin, a little bit of clementine to get yes. you going. Are you ready for this? I'm, I'm like, come on, man. Like, now, <laughs> once you sip this, if, if you don't become more interesting, I don't know what's going to happen. Okay. Okay. Mm. So go on. Okay. Lovely. Take Darling. one, pass Thank it down. You. It's like school. Yeah, go on. <laughs> oh, we have four. We have four. We have okay. four. Yes. No, no, we're all there. Uh, it's cheers. cheers. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And, uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. This, is a bit, Christmas everyone. this is a bit like a Christmas carol, and we are Scrooge, because, like, uh, Merry Christmas, Merry everybody. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. It's like 600 Tiny Tims. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, that is delicious. Oh, come, the world's changing. Hold on. Oh. I'll be the judge of whether or not it's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> No, I like that. It has just enough Christmas in it. Here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's very good. That's right. You want to sit? You want to sit? Hold on. Oh, uh -oh. Here we go. Uh-oh. I, 
I drank from this side, so you can drink from that side. You can drink from the other side. You got that? Oh, no. You can see what you think? Is this like that's feeding it. a gremlin after midnight? How's that? That's good. That's good. That's good. That's not too bad. I'm not mad at that. That's delicious. Yeah. It's good, isn't it? It's nice. Yeah. That's it. No, seriously. It's, it's, I'm not mad at that. So now we've got our Christmas cocktail. <laughs> Yeah. So this must have been the video. <laughs> no, 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 I ain't gonna even go there. I ain't gonna even go there. <laughs> A Christmas to remember. Yeah. <laughs> that was the Christmas O. <laughs> uh, the underwater sequence. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Uh, that looked hard. Oh dear. That was that was pretty difficult. Oh, it was a really technical. Probably about a week at Pinewood because um, we shot at the film least. here. Yeah. Uh, in, in London, and it, it was all underwater. It's a sequence where this sphere falls off a cliff, and she and another actor by the name of Justice are stuck inside of the sphere, and I'm on the outside of the sphere trying to rescue them as it sinks, and uh, it water was... Water is filling up the gyrosphere, and at one point we're completely submerged in water, and... Yeah, we, we spent, what, I don't know, maybe, uh, eight week or eight days or nine days we spent in water. Yeah. And it was, boy, I'll tell you, they put a lot of chlorine in the water, because you've got a crew of 85 people just pissing this pool. <laughs> like, no, no. no one ever got it. No, 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 no. People, they, we didn't have time for people to pee. So you knew <laughs> people were peeing? Oh, I'm certain of it. Did a look come across their faces? Huh? People would suddenly just... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was good pee face. That's a good yeah. pee face. I don't mind doing that again. <laughs> She just made me tinkle a little bit. Yeah. Just <laughs> mid-sentence. Yeah. yeah, I tinkled a little bit mm. when you. <laughs> well, well, I, I mean, help it. It, you pee. You're not supposed to pee in the pool, but no one got out, and and I know because I was. I had to be underwater with my eyes open, of course, uh, oh. as if I could see with my eyes open oh, underwater. God. Chris, and, did you pee? I actually shit myself. <laughs> Time is money on a movie like this. Bryce, you were in the water. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, uh, uh. Well, I was trapped in this gyrosphere, In right? your defense. In my defense. <laughs> <laughs> I just felt this freedom as I was working, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I just was, like, really present. Um, oh. <laughs> and you didn't eat. Claire peed. Yes, Claire did. Claire, Claire was panicked. She was scared for her life. <laughs> yeah. Every time you've said that for the last like seven months, I'm like, wasn't well, happy. I'm just so <laughs> deeply ashamed. Oh. <laughs> um, and that's when we team up and we sort of become best buds on and off screen. Um, <laughs> And, uh, and we fight these <laughs> elemental creatures. These... <laughs> but now, filming together, like, Jake, mm. uh, Tom, it sounds like, was quite unsympathetic to you while you were filming. When, when, didn't you get a little, a little peaky in... Oh, well, uh, yeah, we were shooting a... Well, uh, we were shooting a scene, and yeah. I, I, uh, I got, a, I got, I, I got sick. I, I, I was very nauseous throughout the day, and, and in the middle of the t one of the takes, I, I, th I threw up in the middle of the take and uh, kept going, you know, but that's how, that's what acting's all about. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting opposite him and I was, I was like, how is he doing that? He is so good. He looks so tortured and so unwell and so, <laughs> and so like, like hurt. And then he basically just had a stomach bug. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they actually CGI'd the vomit out of the shot. But if you look in the movie, in the movie and there's, my mouth is just partially open at one, I'm kidding. Are you kidding? <laughs> 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 I was going to go back and see it again. I, 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 I was I'm right there. there. Yeah. I mean, that's the Marvel Universe, <laughs> just painting out the vomit. Yeah. Right chunk. But my oh. eyes were so expressive that they had to keep it in the movie. That so they good. couldn't redo the shot, so you know? <laughs> that was pretty good, but I still think... I mean, we'll see. But part three really, really did it for me, man. But this was still pretty good. 
it's it's just funny, man, to see like or to hear the stories that people be having, you know, because like I feel like we get so caught up with the actor and the role they're playing that, you know, we're so used to that character. So when you see them normal, just acting just as a regular human being, it, it you know, it, it gets a little, it feels a little weird just a little bit, you know, uh, especially people who play a role like all the time in the same movie. There's a lot of actors like that, but this was still pretty funny. Uh, but yeah, hey, appreciate y'all coming over. Hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. All right. Appreciate all the love and support. Peace out.